What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm doing individual videos for all the zodiac signs. I'm on the sign of Taurus. Check out the about section of the channel for more information. Hope everyone is doing well. Let's see what the messages are for Taurus. Messages for the sign of Taurus. Messages for the sign of Taurus. Okay. So, some of you guys feel like there's a call in your life to do something that you know that at the end of the day you're meant to do this one thing and for some reason you don't feel like you're getting the recognition or the reward for whatever this is that you are being kind of stuck in a position where you're not able to move forward you're not able to see what the issue is you feel like maybe if I could just get this one person to call me back, if this one person would work with me, or if this one more shift that I could pick up, if I could just do this one thing. But at the end of the day, it's more like the idea is here, but the format is off, or the maybe where it's coming from is off. There's a reason that you're being held in a position where it's not coming through. Now, do I see someone reaching out and contacting you yes um for some of you guys i feel like maybe someone's waiting on you to make that move maybe someone's waiting for you to open up your mouth and say this is how i feel about this this is what i would like to see happen um having that confidence in yourself some of you guys are being held up in this position because you're having a spiritual awakening and you might feel like you're completely losing your fucking mind some of you guys are dealing with a past life relationship and you know that it's someone that's supposed to be in your life but maybe this person only ended up being a friend in your life because there was other people involved maybe in in an old situation there was an open relationship where you guys weren't really together maybe there was something like that that went along with this situation and maybe some of you guys are currently involved in something that you feel like you need to stay committed to for whatever reason, even though you're kind of losing your patience with this. You're not really looking forward to this. Um, you're not really trying to do this thing for the rest of your life or settle for this for the rest of your life, even though because of who you are, you keep your commitments to people and places and things. I feel like the biggest reason why you're not being recognized and you haven't been rewarded is because you need to work on your own self-confidence. This is loving yourself first. This is understanding that sometimes we have to take partnerships and alliances with other people to get us out of situations that we're not able to get ourselves out of. That maybe that means letting other people be an equal partner. Maybe that means letting someone else get the credit as well or letting someone else take the credit and know that your time would come eventually but having that confidence in yourself that you know that you can manifest this in the right way so you're not counterproductive where you're not subconsciously really not really believing in yourself really not loving yourself and then not understanding why this energy can't come in in a positive way it's because you're not letting it it's because you're not a truly accepting and forgiving and loving yourself to let anything good come in because for some reason you feel like whatever happened when you were 12 8 for some of you guys whatever kind of situation that was left you in a place of needing to heal left you left you in a place of feeling like your heart's outside of your body and you don't really recognize it as being a part of you as something where you don't really feel the same way other people feel and maybe you feel different maybe you feel set apart um, I feel like there is a strong sense of courage that's here the energy is here like someone maybe on the other side is trying to to help you and guide you along but at the same time you're not really able to see that 
a lot of it has to do with your own thoughts and actions, that you're smart enough to know what needs to be said, what needs to be done, how long this could take, that <clears throat> sometimes your mirror image could become in the form of a friend or a partner or karmics or soul ties or things that you have done karmically in this life that is coming back around to be dealt with because it hasn't been for whatever reason that I think that a lot of your thoughts and emotions when it comes to not being able to sleep at night is not having or being where you want to be in this life that you feel like you're stuck forever in this same cycle of seeing something in the future and wanting it and trying to speak it into existence but not understanding that maybe the place that you're at is is a hindrance that maybe this vision that you have isn't going to look like you think it's going to or that it's not going to be what you truly want it to be and knowing that you do have options in this but you're the one that's kind of holding yourself back some of you guys are in a place of a blockage not being able to trust your intuition not really being or understanding how to love yourself um, maybe the woman whether it's a mother figure or uh, someone that's in your life just you felt like didn't give you the attention that you needed or that you under don't really understand where they are maybe this person has been waiting for you to come and wake her up you know maybe this person's waiting for you to say something about how it is that you feel or that you don't know how to feel or whatever the case may be that your boundaries and the things that you're doing your subconscious is doing to protect you from things when in reality a lot of the times it's just holding us back your subconscious is set up to try to protect you but it ends up being counteractive counterproductive because in order for us to move through things in life truly move through we have to go back and deal with those things that maybe our subconscious blocked out so they don't want you to feel this way again. Your ego doesn't want you to feel this way again. You don't want to go through this again. So you, there's a block here. There's a block here. And then if, eventually you get to a place where you're all blocked in. So you're not feeling the things that you don't technically want to feel or remember. But at the same time, there's a lot of things that haven't been dealt with. And there's no way for anything new to come in with all this old stagnant energy that's not been dealt with. Some of you guys may be concerned about a car. You don't understand, you know, some of you guys might need an oil change, random thought I know. Some of you guys are waiting for a message that you've had in front of you this entire time. Some of you guys don't understand that there's something that karmically, universally can't even come in until you're 36 years old. Or that started when you were 36 years old, so it could take a little bit longer than it would for other people. That the bigger picture would be a global view of maybe dealing with other countries overseas. Um, maybe these are the type of people that would be on your level that you could work with. But then this energy of having these childhood wounds here, it's like it's all a dream and a failure at the same fucking time. Some of you guys have people offering things to you all the time, but you can't even see them because you just don't really want them. Maybe you're still stuck on someone that you thought you'd wanted to be with and it didn't work out for whatever reason. Some of you guys have a written will or something that was given to you by someone in your family that you don't even know about. Some of you guys are creating the own chaos in your life because you're running so hard from your emotions that you and this other person and everyone else involved, but everyone knows the, the bond or the partnership or the alliance or the whatever feelings, everyone knows that this is here and it's not going away, but it's you that's still teetering on not knowing which way to go. It's you that doesn't want to tell anyone how you feel. It's you that would ra rather create an argument then tell this person maybe you don't feel the same way that they do or that you don't really know why you're unhappy sometimes that maybe you had kids with the wrong person or maybe you're still thinking about the person you had kids with you're the only person that can deal with 
and understand what goes through your mind. But if you truly want things to get better and, and, and go in a different direction, you have to let somebody else in or try to explain it to someone from an outside party or just understand that there are things set in place that can only happen at a certain time in a certain way and no matter what plan you have put together it's not going to happen that way but sometimes you have to take the initiative and people don't know what you're thinking and they don't know how you feel and they don't understand you sometimes so maybe it's time to open up that that part of you that you try so hard to conceal from everyone else. To maybe stop blocking people out and take the steps to move forward to this person that you know at the end of the day has your heart. So that these new opportunities and things can come in for you. Because I feel like this person feels the same way about you but they're like waiting for you to understand that or they're waiting for you to kind of get to the same level of understanding. Anyways, um, that's all I have for you. Good night.